Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to show you how to make a custom stair tread that can be used inside the stair tools in Tecla Structures. Uh, this video is assuming you already know how to model a single tread, so we're not going to cover the details of that. But here we have three examples of a tread type that's not in Tecla Structures by default. Now, one of them is an item step. Uh, this actually came from SketchUp. You may have seen us use this in other videos. Uh, the second is a precast tread supported by welded angles. And the third is another precast tread that's supported by a bent plate. Um, now these can be created with parametric controls where you can adjust the size and the width and things like that. Um, but the idea here is that we're just going to try to make something simple, uh, a fixed size and width that you just need to use in multiple locations very quickly. So you start off with your modeled in parts, and then you can go up to your Applications and Components side pane and go to uh, the menu button and choose Define Custom Component. Now, a custom component of this type needs to be a seam. That's something that's connecting parallel objects like stair stringers. So I'll go to seam, and I'll give this a unique name. I'll just call this tread type 1. There are two things I need to adjust here. Go to the position tab. I want to make sure that my direction is set to plus Z. I don't want these rolling over with the slope of my stair. So I always want the stair to be facing up, or the tread to be facing up. Um, next, I'll go to the Advanced tab, and I make sure that I have it checked to allow multiple instances. There's going to be more than one tread on a stair, so you want to make sure that many of them can be applied. Um, so it's asking me to choose the objects that will form the custom component. That's anything that's going to be included with this tread, any weld, bolt, uh, angles, holes, any supports like that. You say Next, it's going to ask for the main part. We're always working from right to left here, so I'm going to choose the right stringer, say Next the left stringer, and next, and then it wants two positions. Um, the two points, the two positions are going to be along the nosing, again working from right to left. So that's how it's going to locate this tread is based off of the nosing. And then you can go ahead and click Finish. So I'll get a new uh, cone, and you can see how a new component has been added to my ungrouped items. So I'm just going to do this uh, two more times, go to my menu button, define a custom component. This is going to be a seam, I'll call this tread type 2. Again, set my plus Z and allow multiple instances. Highlight all the parts that make up that tread. The main part is the right stringer, secondary part is the left stringer, and then two points along that nosing line, working from, again from right to left. And then click Finish. So now I have a second tread. I'll do this one more time, just so I can get my third type, seam, Tread type 3, up direction Z, allow multiple instances, sweep around these, main part, secondary part, two points along the nosing, and finish. So now that I've created um, my custom steps, well now I can use them inside of my stair tool. So go down to steel detailing miscellaneous detailing, stairs, and the stair we're going to use is S71. Um, S71 has the option in it, if you go to the stair setup tab, you want to make sure that your step type is set to steps. Uh, on the steps tab, you want to have the drop down option showing the rectangle that's indicating a custom step. And then you can simply call in the custom component you want to use. So I'll call in tread type 1. Just pick two points here, just keep this kind of simple, go out 11 and up 7. You can see I have a tread now that's using that step type 1. So if I make a couple of copies of this, just so we can see what this looks like, I'll change this one to be tread type 2. So now it's using my precast treads. This one I'll change to be tread type 3. So now it's going to use the precast with the bent pan. So even without having to go in and add parametrics and things like that, it's very easy to create a simple fixed custom step that you can use inside the stair tools, which will calculate their locations, their spacings, and their quantities. So for more assistance, please reach out to your local Tecla help desk. And if you want to learn more about making custom components with all that parametric intelligence I'm talking about, speak to your local office about training courses that are available. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.